Hey, welcome to the show. Take a look at this division problem right here. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by 2. That division problem is requested from one of my subscribers, and that subscriber is C-O-N-G-A-N. Um, they said, please, can you go ahead and do that big number? Also want to hit a shout out to, I, I think it's Marmee, M-A-R-M-E-E. -E. So uh, they say hi, so hi back to you. Also, Regan, Reg Regan or Regan Lee said, thank you so much, dude. My sister is asking the teacher how to do division, but I for forgot to, to divide. So, um, hey, I'm always happy to help. And then last we have um, Harris says hi, and then... Uh, Stella, I think it is, is 23 years old. So, hey, thank you very much. I'm always looking at the comments and doing requests. Also, we have a live show. So uh, a lot of times we um, help our subscribers on that show. So make sure you hit that subscribe button to this channel and also take a look at some of our other channels we have. Let's go ahead and begin. So first of all, can I put two into one? You just can't, can you? But I can put two into 12. So two times what equals 12? 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10, and then 2 times 6 equals 12. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 6. That would be the best choice. So I go ahead and put 6 right here. 6 times 2 is 12. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract and put the line right here. And anytime you want to go ahead and do this problem and hit the pause button and then check it with me, you can. So now what I do is after I subtract, I get 2 minus 2 is 0. I bring the next number down, which is a 3. So I'm going to bring that all the way down here and put a 3 right here. And then I start the whole process over. So how many times can I put 2 into 3? Only one time. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 1 right here. 1 times 2 is 2. Go ahead and subtract. And then 3 minus 2 equals 1. So I put the 1 right here, and then I bring that next number down, which is a 4. Bring it all the way down here and put the 4 there. Now I need to make some more room, don't I? So the nice cool thing about smart boards is I can take this whole problem and then make it just a little bit smaller and bring that up here. So this is a lot of fun. I will have a link down below where you can find this smart board. I'm having a lot of fun with it on my show. All right, now the whole process over starts again. How many times can I put two into 14? So again, when we did two times six, that was 12. Two times seven equals 14. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 7 right here. Whoops, i got to put the pin tool there. 2 times 7 equals 14. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract. And that would be a 0. And I bring the next number down, which would be a 5 right here. And now, how many times does 2 go into 5? 2 times. So I'm going to put 2 right here. And then 2 times 2 equals 4. And I'm going to go ahead and subtract. And I also need to make this a little bit smaller. And make that smaller here. Sometimes our division problems get <laughs> quite big. All right, let's begin. And now I subtract 5 minus 4 equals 1. Now, if you're only working with remainders, this would be a remainder. Remainder 1 right here. But if you need to work and you want to bring it to a, like a decimal number, um, you can just put a decimal in there. So let's go ahead and make this a decimal. And I'm going to put a decimal right here. When I do decimals, that means I can add as many zeros as I want to that side. So let's go ahead and put a zero right here. Now when I put a decimal here, that means I also have to put one up here in my answer. I need to put a decimal here too. So I can bring that zero all the way down right here. And now this will be a 10. Now how many times does 2 go into 10? five times. Two times five equals ten. So I go ahead and put a five right here, and then five times two equals ten, and I subtract, and now I have a remainder of zero. So there is our answer. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show. I sure appreciate it. You can hit that like button, hit the subscribe button to this, and make sure you check out our other videos. I also have a dino math show right up there. It has dinosaurs, more mathematics, more uh, playing fun. So check that channel out. And like always, get outside and do some playing. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.